Well, according to the state, there's no detectable levels of contamination. Still, there will be a 7 p.m. meeting tonight at the First Unitarian Church with Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib and Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence to address resident concerns. The seawall at the Detroit bulk storage collapsed the night before Thanksgiving. Roughly 9,000 yards of material from a potentially contaminated site spilled into the Detroit River. The vice president of Detroit bulk storage told 7 Action News off camera the nearby Army Corps of Engineers and the Coast Guard were told of the collapse. They were concerned passing vessels could hit the debris. Those working for the environmental organization Sierra Club say their concern for them was the lack of communication to residents. They say it took a week to notify people living in the area, but there's not a requirement for the state or the public to be notified. To be frank, this is a wake up call. There's uh, countless numbers of industries along the Detroit River. Our emergency management system has been tested time and time again, whether it be the marathon release events, this most recent event, and they haven't been up to par. And more broadly, um, sea levels are rising, the Detroit River is at an extremely high level, and so incidents like these are going to happen more often, and we need to be prepared. The Great Lakes Water Authority and the city of Wyandotte both have intake several miles down the river for drinking water. They say they're going to be doing their own testing. Reporting live, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News.